Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Brian the Divine Healer here with you on this thankful Thanksgiving day. I hope you all are with your families, we're going to be soon, have a nice meal. Anyways, thanks for coming to the channel, we're going to do some readings, that's right, we're going to do cusp readings, so before I get into all that, Divine Squad, my little subscribers, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments, love it, love it, news, that's you, brand new to the channel. Come on in, take your shoes off, relax, get yourself some coffee. Hit the like button and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Family. Let me get my chart. Yeah. Okay, so we uh, did Leo, Libra Scorpio yesterday. Today will be Scorpio Sagittarius. The cusp of revolution. So if your birthday is November 18th through the 24th, that's you, your cusper. And it's that transitional period of time between two sides that makes the cusp, right? So I am using my Thelema deck. I'll show you real quick. Right. It's a sweet deck. I love the illustrations. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so noobs, I, uh, I will lay two cards out to tell you your energy now, now in the past, or in the future. I will also lay more cards out to um, tell you a story. Within that story is your message. And then I will lay two more cards out to give you your outcome. Close out your energy. How's that sound? Sounds great. Hit the like button, subscribe. Appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into this here. Grab it. Scorpio Sagittarius. How y'all doing? Right? Hope you don't eat too much, but everybody goes in a coma after eating. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it's all about the stuffing and gravy, right? No, really, it's about giving thanks to everybody. So, praise God. Thank you. Amen. All right, so enough chatter. Here comes your cards. Like I said, the two for your energy now. Ready? First card out. King of Wands. Oh, bitch. Okay. Fair enough. They're on like a mission. They're on the prowl. Right. On the prowl. Let me pull the other card here and see this King of Wands. Okay, noobs, I'm not like your traditional tarot card readers. I just don't do that. So, either you like me, you stay, or you don't, and you beat it. However you see, hit the like button on the way in or out. Thank you. So, three of pentacles. This is, um, this is you being what I call, like, the queen of wands is the sassy pants. This is you on the prowl. You're trying to, um, explore things. You want to, uh, you want to work together with somebody for some kind of collaboration, some stability, or uh, you're checking things out, <laughs> and this King of Wands energy, so you're, you know, pretty bold, pretty bold, like determined bold about making some kind of collaboration, or uh, I don't know, let's pull the fourth card here, it's very early. And uh, we'll see where this goes. King of Pentacles. Okay. So you're looking f to collaborate with somebody that's in this King of Pentacles who is um, marriage material, generous. Um, very stable. Look at, the, look at that giant pentacle, right? Standing on a whole box of treasures. So this person that you're maybe wanting to explore with or or find is um, very well off, standing in their own power as a king should, but has a very solid, stable platform, meaning a, like a, uh, you know, they got a good house, car, job, all that good stuff, right? Okay, so we move on. King of Swords, that's the truth. Oh, this is, this is, what, three kings out here? 
going on with you? Okay. King of Pentacles, King of Swords. So you do want this this grounded energy, this this type of person that's stable, but you also want somebody that doesn't take any shit. They stand in their own truth. Um, they very much will have your back. Uh, they're very intellectual, very smart. Yeah, okay, so that's that. Wow, three kings, boom, boom, boom. Okay, now we have the high priestess. So, um, what here is that you are in this... <clears throat> higher elevation. Higher vibration. Because you're exploring something with possibility. Maybe it's between two. Maybe it's... That's what it is. You are... It's like you have options. You you're you have two people that are looking at you like that. And, I mean, this is how you're presenting yourself as the King of Wands. But really, now that I'm seeing it, it it's more of you are exploring the options between these two. And the two is the King of Pentacles, very stable, solid... I mean, the King of Swords is also stable too, but he's a little more brash and bold and stands the truth, a little more victorious uh, when it comes to things, right? Same as that other king, but the High Priestess is like, you, you, you know which one. And it looks like you're presenting your apple to the King of Swords. Right. So somehow your intuition is involved with this, that... In your subconscious, you know the right decision, the right pick. Whoa! That don't count. It's fell off the bottom. Wow, that just took a second to kind of click it all together. But, yeah. A tale between two kings. Oh, I like that. Emperor. Oh, because you want one of them to be your emperor. One of them is your emperor. One of them is your emperor. And that's what you're trying to decide. That's what you're trying to figure out. That's the intuition. That's the high priestess. That's the exploring the two. Okay. Juicy. I love it. Eat it with a spoon. Pop. Okay, page of pentacles. There you go. So now here comes a message. Here comes somebody that's offering this up, right? So who's it gonna be? Which one's gonna be? Well, you, you're the boss. You're using your intuition, you know, so it's up to you. But it's there and they're offering a big ass heap of stability. So they wanna plant roots. They wanna uh, lay that foundation down, right? Mm. Yeah. Somehow, I feel, because these two kings are right next to each other, I don't know if they know each other or they know of each other. But whoever, what this message that comes out of, hey, Hey, let's do this. Let's start something, right? Let's build together. The three of wands, they're like also pitching in with this offer of make the choice. Uh, because you have options. So explore your options with me. Whoa. That's pretty bold. And uh, the King of Swords is pretty bold. So let's keep going. Wow. Bam. Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. So they're, they're, they want to do the long term. They want to do the slow and steady. They want to bring all this in. 
because it's all with this offer. This, this, this news, like this, hey, I want to build with you. I want to make, I want to make um, a foundation that's strong so we both can stand on. Because this person is showing the king of swords, but they're really the emperor, the high priestess. So maybe there's like a little mm, hidden things that you don't know that are good. Not everything that's hidden is bad, right? That's why the page of pentacles is there and not like the, well, the king of pentacles is over there. So that, 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 that person's out. Even though the page of pentacles is here, that's the offer. But like I said, the high priestess is, is handing off that apple, the knowledge, the the connection, the energy to the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is standing there um, ready to accept because he's really the Emperor. And some of your intuition, you know this. And so, knowing that they're the Emperor, or do you boss up as the Emperor to pitch this, this, Oh, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Well, the emperor, you know, is your divine counterpart, obviously, but it is also, it's like the boss. It's somebody that's in charge. It's like an entrepreneur. It's like very fiery, uh, you know, kind of like Aries or Aries energy, right? Bam! It's a masculine side of your feminine. Well, you know, the duality. That's why I do the two cards. So nevertheless, boom, I think that you're... Knowing who you need to go to so you start bossing up to get into your emperor energy Because the king of wands is also like fire and passion right kind of similar to the emperor So it, it's like to me. It's one step up So then you just total high vibe it You put your you put your best foot forward and you present this offer of stability and you you, you, you in this process you let them know that you've been exploring your options and that you are ready for the long term, slow and steady. It's you that makes this, not them. Okay, yes. Because I could see it with the, like I said, the Empress, I mean the High Priestess, handing off. Uh, disaster! Okay, stay. The Empress handing off to the King of Swords. That's the offer. See what I'm saying? You follow me now? Good. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Thank you. Okay. So we're getting close. We're getting close. Don't worry. Hold on to the end, right? Appreciate that. Okay. 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 This is good. So here we go for this next row and the world comes. So boom. There's a new cycle starts, right? Boom. So as soon as you boss up, boom, you lay this all out. You put it all out on the line, and then here comes a cycle. Brand new, starting, right? Ending. And in this exploring mode, uh, to now have the divine Uber come in and park it, dropping some shit off. That's divine, bringing you success, forward movement with this offer. See, trusting your gut is always good because it is never wrong, people. Bam. There it is. There's the glory that you're waiting for. Right. So now you're shining and you're happy and you have some harmony and peace in your life a little bit, right? This is good. Here comes your next card. Two more for the story to be over and then we'll get to the outcome. Five of Pentacles, okay? <clears throat> Five of Pentacles to me says, uh, with this success, it's not really, uh, you're being left out in the cold. It says like those days are over. 
because it's underneath the page of pentacles, which is the offer being put out. So the fives represent change, right? And the change in your stability. And your stability was at the time, in the beginning of this, was the, uh, let me check out my options. Let me see, explore, see what's all out there, right? Let me decide between these two that I have my eye on. All right, sassy pants, I hear you. Here's your last card of your story, and then we'll get to the outcome. Ten of Wands. Burdens are over as well. So the burden of having to search and explore and find that other person that's for you uh, is done, right? You've completed that journey. You're walking away from the town that you were in, theoretically, to, you know, do this. So you're dropping all those tens. Tens are about completions. And the fives, like I said, are change. So there's no definition of the tarot card here it's my intuition and the little numerology that plays in with this whole story because that's what's been called to say then the definition or whatever you know what i'm saying so hell of a ending my friends right so here comes your turkey day verdict you'll overcome you guys will manage to uh, get past things that might have, you know, or will hold you guys up for a minute in this process of making this decision with your gut. Yeah, Queen of Swords. So now, so now, there we go. You have the Queen of Swords. And then the King of Swords, just like I said, the intuition that you are using with your gut and making that choice, which was you with the apple presenting it, kind of like Adam and Eve, you presenting that apple to Adam and he ate it. So then, you know, how that goes. Nevertheless, that's still there for you to boss up and pitch this idea to, uh, you know, this King of Swords. Because now you're the queen of sorts. So the king and the queen will overcome a whole bunch of crap. They've already let go of a whole bunch of burdens. And they're going to be very happy together in their chariot. So that's been your reading. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Some of it was a little bit thick. But we worked through it. And so any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, hit the like button on the way out. If you want to become part of the Divine Family. Uh, leave a subscribe and that little check thing right too so have a great turkey day peace and pray i'll see y'all again